Welcome everybody to the episode number 33 of Around the World in 80 Tangos. Today we have nostalgias in a recording of Francisco Lomuto. He was a tall guy, athletic, the body of a sportsman, very elegant, very well dressed all the time. He had full dark brown hair, always brought to form with gumina. His nose was straight, although she had a little sign of his boxing passion. Also his ears and his skin was a bit pockmarked. Longing to hear her crazy laughter and feel her breathe through my mouth like fire. Anxiety to feel abandoned and to think that someone else at her side soon, soon will speak to her of love. Brother, I don't know. I don't want to humiliate myself or ask him or cry or tell him that I can't live anymore. Out of my sad loneliness, I'll see fall the dead roses of my youth. So we are talking about Juan Carlos Cobian. The description I gave at the beginning was given by Enrique Cadicamo, the lyricist of the song called Nostalgias. The recording was made 1936, five days after Miguel Caló did the first recording of this number. And the pity that Gobian never recorded this by himself. That's true. He had very few recordings. He made only a dozen recordings in, the, in 1928 and some like six in 1944 in between. Nothing more. And he grows up in Bahia Blanca. He was not born in Bahia Blanca, but he, was, he grew up there with his family. And he soon felt affected by the piano, which was played by his sister Dolores. And they had a Steinway, so it was a very good instrument. And soon he went to the conservatory Antonio Williams, a music school, where he finished as a piano teacher when he was 15. And he met somebody really, really important in the tango scene there. Yeah, also studying at this conservatory was Carlos Di Sali. And they met there and became friends. Yes. When Di Sali had the wish to go to the Navy to become a seaman, Cobian convinced him to stay with the piano. What well, a good idea. And luckily, yes. And this is really, really a famous piece. So many, many orchestras recorded this. Yes, I found dozens of uh, recordings and uh, all over the world. So not only in Argentina, Carlo alone recorded it twice. Interestingly, Canaro didn't take it. He recorded every tune he could get, but not this tune. And this uh, says something about the complexity of the music of Cobian. Often his compositions were rejected by producers or directors because they considered it as too complex for the audience. And there is a really nice interpretation of Lucio de Mare with his piano. Let's listen to this. Beautiful. I thought of this uh, recording when we planned to do Nostalgias because uh, it shows the delicacy and the refinement of the whole composition and it's really well played by Lucio de Mare. But back to Cobian. He was a guy of nightlife and alcohol and... Women. <laughs> women, at least. Yes, he was a... Uh, yeah, a guy who enjoyed life. He was a piano player, a director, a 
composer, he wrote lyrics, and he's considered of being one of the founders of Tango Romanza. So he invented the technique of a piano player to fill the spaces in the melody, not to play like the average piano player stomping the chords in the beat together with the bass. He was doing something different and he had a very important influence on Francisco de Caro and on Carlos de Sali and many other piano players. And when he came to Buenos Aires, he met Fresedo. He met Fresedo. Before he met Arolas, Tito Rocca Tagliata, they had a trio at the Cabaret Montmartre. And he started already his nightlife and then he had to go to the army. And uh, it was a sort of an interrupted service. So first he spent one year and then he had to spend a bit more time. I don't know how they did that. But he spent um, most of the time in prison because maybe of the lack of discipline, I guess. So that was the inspiration for his composition, Apan y Agua, Bread and Water, <laughs> so his prison song. And then he met Fresedo. And he played in his orchestra and then Fresedo left the orchestra and he took over the orchestra of Fresedo in the famous club. Abdullah. It was the Abdullah, a luxury place which was owned by Fresedo. Now or later, I forgot, but he was also in this nightclub business. And the lineup of this band was interesting because it was on the Banonians, Pedro Mafia, Luis Petrucelli, on the violin, Julio De Caro, y Agelisao Ferrazzano, and on bass, Leopoldo Thompson, El Negro. And when Fresedo uh, stepped back, Cobian took the lead of this orchestra. And then later on, Cobian went to the US because of love, and Julio De Caro took over this band. Yes, the same happened then when Cobian followed a lady to New York City and stayed there for six years. Then Julio De Caro took the opportunity and kept this band. And this was the core of the famous Sexteto de Julio De Caro, the start of the revolution of tango. In 1928, he came back and uh, obviously really signed by the adulterated whiskey he consumed in the time of prohibition in the US. He started to get back his career in Buenos Aires and played with different ensembles, among them the famous trio number one, trio numero uno with Siriaco Ortiz and Gaetano Puglisi, where he needed a replacement piano player because he was sometimes not able to play for what reason ever. And this guy was Carlos Di Sali, who was between his sextetto and his first orchestra and had free space. And just by the way, Kubian is the C in the ABC of Osvaldo Pugliese. Yes, you mentioned that. For Osvaldo Pugliese, we had Eduardo Arolas, number A, Agustin Bardi, B, and Juan Carlos Kubian, C. These people formed the base of tango compositions. And after a while in Buenos Aires, he started again to travel to the US and to Europe and came back in a not really good shape. Yeah, in 37 he started again, I think first to Europe and then to the US because Europe was then on the brink of war. Anyway, in 43 he came back, health, money, all that stuff. Then in 44 he had a short recording period, six recordings as far as I know, not much. And then he retired and died lonely in 1953. Is set in the arms of Julio De Caro. I think this is a metaphor that he was present while he was dying. That was the end of poor Juan Carlos Cobian. I want to numb my heart to get rid of a crazy love affair which is a suffering more than love. And that's why I'm here. Erase old kisses in the kisses of other lips. If your love was a mayflower why is she still my cruel grief? I would like to drink a toast to us.
to forget my obsession, but the more I remember her. Maybe Kadikamo was thinking of his close friend Kobian when he wrote this lyrics. We can be sure of that. More about Kadikamo, Lumoto and Jorge Omar in another episode. This was episode number 33 of Around the World in 80 Tangos. Today, Nostalgias, recorded by Francisco Lumuto. The singer was Jorge Omar. Music, Juan Carlos Corbillan. Lyrics, Enrique Cadicamo. Thank you for traveling with us through tangos we love and we hope you enjoyed. This was Daniela and Raimund, Tango Mundo, Berlin. Take care, stay healthy. Bye bye. Nostalgias, de escuchar su risa loca y sentir junto a mi boca como un fuego su respiración. Angustia, de sentirme abandonado y pensar que otro a su lado pronto, pronto le hablara de amor. Yo no quiero rebajarme, ni pedirle, ni llorarle, ni decirle que no puedo más vivir. Desde mi triste soledad veré caer las rosas muertas de mi juventud.